Let us stand in respect to the reading of God's holy word. I read while you follow. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Saviour. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now, but the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto the day unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not stopped concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is not suffering to us war, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall, be, shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. See then that all these things shall be dis dissolved. What manner of person ought he to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for the hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens shall be on fire, and shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heaven, a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, the Lord, seeing that he looked for such things, be diligent, that he may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And I'll stop right there. The anointed word of God went by saying, thanks be to God. Father, I thank you for this hour. Thank you for this lump of day that stand before you to declare your word. I pray that you'll touch me afresh. Lord, the words are here. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. I pray that you'll have your own sweet way. Let your words find that vent in the hearts of your people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to speak to us this morning. How should we live then? How should we live then? As we focus on the text that has been read, and looking at our world today, as believers, we must examine ourselves. As I said, you must examine yourself. For there is a message that God has given to the church. He says, 
says, he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And I go a little further by saying the church has a message that must be preached. Or there's somebody. And there's a people that must hear the word of God. And people must make a decision where the word is concerned. Whether in the positive or in the negative. But there's a judgment. Everybody say judgment. judgment. That we cannot miss. No man have any excuse where the gospel is concerned. First Peter deals with problems from outside. Second Peter deals with problems from inside. Peter write to warn his believers or warn the believers about false teachers who are pending damages doctrines. He began by urging them to keep close watch on their personal lives. The Christian life demands diligence, brothers and sisters, in pursuing moral excellence. Knowledge self-control, perseverance, godliness, holiness as Paul puts it across, holiness without which no man shall see God. For God said in his words, be ye holy, for I am holy. It is possible for us to be holy. Not only godliness, but brotherly kindness which is critical, selfless love. By contrast, the four teachers are sensual, arrogant, greedy and covetous. They scoff at the thought of the future judgment and live their lives as if the present would be the pattern for the future. Some people live as if there is no hope. There are many today, brothers and sisters, live their lives as if they are in control of themselves. Peter would have examined and seen that in his time. So Peter reminds the brethren he reminded them that although God may be long suffering yes. in sending judgment, ultimately it will come. Yeah, it is coming and surely coming. Yes. In view of that fact, believers should live lives of godliness, Amen. blamelessness, Amen. and steadfastness. Paul used, not Paul, but Peter rather, used a Greek word, tebaste, which means scoffer. Now take notes of Peter's writing, the, the, one of the disciples. He says, This second epistle, beloved, I know right unto you. In both which I stir up your pure minds and your mind by way of remembrance. Because we are mortal beings, we often forget. And so we need a reminder. One writer said, There are things that I love and held dear to my heart. They are just borrowed, they are not mine at all. But Jesus only let me use them to brighten my day. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Yes. One of the reminders this morning for Mason Hall is that man of us. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Man of us. Yes. So why fuss? Yes. Why fuss? Yes. Why behave as 
if we are makers and creators of ourselves. Peter says, I write to stir up your pure minds. I know your name is not to blend Jews. Mm -hmm. Especially Sunday. But sometimes you make your juice and you put it down for a while. And when you look at it, it's as if it has two colors. Am I right or am I right? So the top looks a little bit paler than the bottom. And if you just chew off the top and drink it, you might say, hmm, what is this? You know? But when you stir up the thing, yeah. woo, you get juice. Come on now, stir up, stir up, stir up. Yeah. Paul has spoken some things. Yeah. Peter. And he wants us to come back to remembrance. Yeah. Reflect on the things that were said of all. Sometimes we just need a reminder. Yeah, Praise God. Yeah. You see, our brain cannot Remember everything, so it's good when we come to church, we write down notes, yeah. write down scriptures, take notes, because you may not need a certain thing today, but you're going to need it tomorrow, because the journey continues. Are you here, somebody? Hallelujah. Not in this verse, as Peter made mention of prophets, and forefathers would have spoken some things, yeah. but there are those whom he called scoffers. Yes. He said they will come in the last days yes. walking after their own losses, yes. their own desires, yes. seek to gratify self, yes. lovers of pleasures of this world than the things of God. And so Peter says they will come in the last days yeah. walking after their own lust yes. and saying where is the promise of his coming? Yeah. You know some people say well, I'm coming, I'm in here. they don't know how that work. Yes. They heard that Jesus had been coming and if he was coming on a donkey you know, reach already. But are you ready? Yeah. You are reason why the Lord has not yet put in his appearance because you're not ready to meet your God. Oh, he is long suffering. Yeah. He's patient with us. Oh, Glory to God. Oh. Not willing that anyone should perish but that all should come to repentance. Young men, young women, children, adults, repent for the coming of the Lord is at hand. So Mark says, if you don't repent, you shall all likewise perish. Yes. If you repent and be baptized for the remission of sin, you shall be saved. Yes. But if you don't repent, you shall be damned. Yes. And if God says, I go so, is that an amen in the sanctuary this morning? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The word tells us. That there are those who continually say, For since the fathers fell asleep, in other words, since so poor fathers have died, since the prophets have died, things have remained the same. Let me tell somebody that things have not received, remained the same. Not in this new now. God is long suffering. He is very much long suffering and patient with us. Yeah. Even for us as a nation. So many disasters could have wiped us off this month. Since 2020, we have several earthquakes. I wouldn't call them tremor. Yes, sir. But in other places, if they would have experienced what we have, they would have destroyed some stuff. But the God in whom we serve is a faithful God. The God in whom we serve is a merciful God. 
He's a just God. Yes. But mercy for will close one day. Yes. So Peter wants us to bear in mind what? To persevere as a Christian, guard yourselves from spiritual errors. To our new ministers. Many Jesus says will come in my name and proclaim some things. Yes. And he will go as far as saying they are the Christ. Yes. Yes. But the word of the Lord says, when the Lord shall return, every eye shall behold him. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 1 tells us. When Jesus was lifted up into heaven out of this earth by the cloud, and as they gazed up into heaven, and heaven was be up. Come on now. When Jesus is appearing out of their sight, the angel says, He men of Galilee, why gaze he on this Jesus? But he did not stop there. Hallelujah. He said, This same Jesus that has been taken up from among you shall return in like manner. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Because you are anticipating the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I want to say if there's anybody under the hearing of my voice who are playing church, the days for playing church is over. Because the Lord is coming back. Because you go to church is not a guarantee for you to enter into the kingdom of heaven. No, not at all. No, no, no. You must repent of your sins. You must accept Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way. The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Jesus Christ. But you must guard your lives. Because there are many that will come under the umbrella of Christianity. There will be many that come under the color of a minister. But as the word says in James, try the spirit. Come on now. Whether they are of God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. Many are coming to say the Lord, say when the Lord does say nothing. Amen. 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 Not because the Lord gives you a prophetic word that makes you a prophet. No. Hello, somebody. Amen. Don't be fooled. Hallelujah. Guard yourself. From spiritual errors. Yeah. Many love to hear prosperity gospel. Yes, sir. There's a place for prosperity gospel. You know but what will it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his own soul? Yeah. It would be better if we had not been born, but since you are born, seek the Lord once he may be found. Call upon him once he's near. Praise God. Amen. Preserve or persevere rather as a Christian. Guard yourself. Guard yourself as a pastor. Guard yourself as a deacon. Guard yourself as a secretary. The enemy works in a subtle way. Secondly, to persevere as a Christian, grow in grace. And then in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Know what the Word of God teaches. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. So Peter recognized that the scoffers will come, the scoffers will come and say all sorts of things. They will even question the return of Jesus Christ. They will question your beliefs and your practices. They will question what the Bible teaches. 
from what science says. Paul has been there too. And Paul admonishes young son Timothy in the faith. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. Hear what Paul said to Timothy. Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy thrust. Abiding profane and vain babbling. And oppositions of signs yes. for the so called. So you hear all sorts of scientific theories. Man want to change the natural rules of a man. Hmm? Man to man is abomination unto the Lord. And so science tells them the boy is here still. It's in your dream. Yes, That's a sin. Yes, That's a lie from the pit of hell. Yes. When you check Genesis, hey, God made two people there, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Come on, somebody. Yes. Not Eve and Yvette. Yes. Man wants to change that. Yes, man. God created man in his own way. Science yes. wants to change that. Yes, yes. And even about children who go to university, a lot of things they are hearing yes, yes, but I am happy that the church has laid a foundation come on somebody it oh somebody study to show myself approved unto God a word and that needed not to be ashamed but rightly dividing the word of truth so you know how to differentiate error from truth amen that's what the church is here for amen hallelujah so we must guard ourselves as leaders, guard ourselves as believers. You see, in Jamaica term, we talk about those who are licky licky and yummy yummy. You know somebody? Those are some of the things that is mashing up the church. Yes, sir. Because some people live a particular lifestyle and because they're up there in a society. Can I use that word? Yes, sir. They want to They have to maintain. They just give them a blind on the church. Yes. But sin a sin. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hello. God look at on the inward part. What's my focus on the external? Amen. Righteousness exalts the nation. But sin is a reproach unto any people. Yes. So God lead them over God to Romans chapter 1 to their work to be a nine. Science can be good. Yes. And it can be used for evil. Amen. But let us guard our lives by using the word of God. So Paul was right when he spoke about science. Science plays its role and function, yes. yes. But anything that burns against the knowledge of the word of God, hello, hello somebody, we call an error. Yes, Strange winds of doctrine. Yes. And one of the problems in our world today, people want to hear what they want to hear it. Yes. But not what God wants them to hear. But as ambassadors of Christ, as representatives of the kingdom, we declare righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach unto many people. We declare the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Careful of being just morally, being just moral. Be clean and being religious. Yes. Being religious that doesn't tell us that you have a relationship going on with the Lord. Amen. That God saved you. Yes. Repent and turn from your sinful ways. As the word of the Lord says in Christ, if my people who are called by my name, 
will humble themselves and pray. And pray. Some people know plenty of trouble come. Hello, somebody. It seems as if the church has gone to sleep. Prayer meeting seems like to be a by my password. Just a few persons. But these are the days when the church must be in prayer. The enemy knows the power of prayer. The enemy knows the power that lies in unity. Because he's capitalizing on that, you know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He loves the social distance. Yes, sir. He's capitalizing on that. The kind of fellowship that we should be having. Yes. Boys like COVID has robbed us. Hello. Yes, sir. Amen. But I'm happy to know that God is not far away from us. He's here. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here. Amen. He's here to meet our needs. He's here to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. Amen. Growth depends on life. Grow in grace. And in the unmerited favor of God. Yes. You know, sometimes when we look back at life, how we have messed up our lives. God should have just write us off. But He extend mercy. Oh, God have mercy. Thank you, Lord! For mercy. Uh, yes. His mercy endureth forever. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Who me has redeemed? Hallelujah. Satan of what of this will have destroyed us long time ago. But God has saved us for a purpose. Yes. There were times the enemy were looking for you to go under. But God has allowed you to rise up. With wings like eagles and sword. Glory to the love of God. You see who got blessed? No one curse. And who got cursed? No one bless. Scoffers. Walking out of your own loss. And questioning. Questioning. The word of God. Questioning the church. But the word is always right. Come on, tell the neighbor, the word is always right. The word is always right. And the word is always Growth right. Growth is necessary. Yes. It's not an option. Necessary. So as believers going through this time, we must grow. Amen. We can't remain at the stage that we were last year. No. Growth is gradual. It's not instant. Growth is a lifelong process. So you can make progress. Growth is difficult. It's not easy. But it is possible. Amen, somebody. Amen. It is possible. Grace is the key to a relationship with God because He saves and He supplies according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Just remain humble. Trust in God and do the right. As leaders, yes, we have to remind the people, as Peter says, Fear not your minds by way of remembrance. That this not man. You have those who will teach that all these beautiful houses that you live in will come back and inherit them. Sorry. Rubbish. <laughs> Look at what the word says in verse 7. All these things yes, are reserved for fire. Hello, somebody. Fire for the 
And sometimes we try to garner this and garner that. We brought nothing into this world and certainly we cannot take anything with us. Naked we came out of our mother's womb. Naked shall we return. So why worry about material things? These things will be dissolved. Hallelujah. But beloved, be not ignorant, don't be lack of knowledge. Of this one thing. Of this one thing that I say with the Lord is like a thousand years. And a thousand years like a day. God does not count time as a man count time. He says, my ways are not your ways. Neither my thoughts are your thoughts. No wonder the disciples question, when are you going to come back, Lord? Establish your kingdom. But he says, it's not for me to tell you what. Observe the sign. Look at the signs of the time. How oh, well are we observing the signs of the time? So many disasters. Violence and crime all over the world. Corruption from the highest point. Wars and rulers of war. Earthquakes. Some areas are experiencing famine. Yes, sir. And COVID has swept the entire world. Yes, sir. Mm. Oh. Mm. Brothers and sisters, friends, shake yourself before you wreck yourself. Time. Is running out. Time is running out. The person here is a Christian. You have to give your life to glorify God. Hallelujah. You will have critics. You will have those who will call your various names. But the Lord Jesus says to his disciples, You will be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Rejoice. Mm. Blessed are he that then shall revive you and persecute you and shall say, All the man of peace against you. What? Cause. Cause. Don't miss that word there. Amen. Cause. Make sure it is false. Amen. People have a tendency of accusing the leaders of the church. But, sometimes but make sure that it is false. Set apart yourself, be holy, for I am holy, said the Lord. If we are guilty, we are guilty, you know. But make sure it is false. Don't compromise. Don't commit apostasy. Don't abandon the faith. Beloved hearts, God does not come time as man come time. The Lord says, He's not stuck concerning his promise. As men come slack. But he is long suffering, patient. To us all. Not willing. Not willing that our husband's spirit. Not willing that our wife's spirit. Not willing that our mother's spirit and our father's spirit. Not willing that our children perish. For that all should come to repentance. And I want to close by saying hear what the word says. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Unexpected. <laughs> you see to say, you don't know when I'm coming. But set your hopes in honor. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, set your hopes in honor? Mm -hmm. If you know that your hopes is not in order, set your hopes in order. Come on, come on. I'm not talking about the one that you live in. Uh, but I'm talking about your lives, your hearts. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, 
The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm. My God. The earth also and the works. So all these business places, these mansions that we live in, these ships that we own, these airports that we own, all these things will be reserved for fire and brimstone. Because God is going to create a new heaven for us, somebody, and a new earth. We are in with righteousness. I want to say to us this morning that we must live our lives pure and holy to please God. And so, Peter says, see then, all these things must be dissolved. What manner of person ought he to be in all holy conversation? When Paul reached to the end of his journey, he says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And there is no need of coming a storm of righteousness. Glory to God. That the righteous judge, God himself, will give unto me on that last day. The good news, brothers and sisters, is that it's God himself that is going to reward us. Hello! Because we as human beings, we as pastors, we as members, whatever position we hold in life, we have a tendency to look at the people here. Yeah. We have a tendency to look in the face of people. I said, because you're nice, we're going to be a black. Even too, yeah. you're not qualified. Oh, Jesus. But the seed that a man sowed, that shall he also reap. Jesus says in Revelation 22, Behold, I come quickly. How quick is quick? Remember those own time. That's how we come. When he said, Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as your work shall be. Oh, yeah. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. How should we live? It is a closing moment. The last day. Watch and pray. Let's be enter into temptation. Jesus wants us to be vigilant. Want us to be on our guard because the devil is like a ruined lion. He's not the lion, but he behaves like a lion. See in whom he may devour. Let us depend on the sovereign God. So that we make it true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.